Amy is going to give us a primer on the shells that we find. Go. Okay, so these are from the Hawthorne site, and this is a pretty typical assemblage of what we're getting. Um, this one here, this is a mussel shell. You can tell because it's blue and shiny. Um, this one here, this is a cooked oyster shell. It's very white and chalky on one side, and then on the other side, it's kind of got a little bit of a shine. This one is an uncooked oyster shell, so it's got the same shape, same kind of shininess, but it's a darker gray color. This is a clam. It's chalky in texture, doesn't have any kind of shininess to it, and then it has growth lines that are evenly spaced and smooth. The scallop shells have these ridges on the front of them, and then again are kind of chalky on the back side. And then this is a barnacle. This one's a really big one, typically you find them smaller, but it has these tubes that you can kind of see in the cross section. And the waviness on uh, the on that one, yeah. What's yeah, the... so the oysters also have growth rings like the clams do, but they grow more irregularly, so they're kind of wavy. So and these... you also have a type collection of yes. more modern ones. These are all whole specimens from modern beaches and such. Okay. Um, so this is an example of a whole clam shell that's local. It's called a bent nose clam. You can see the regular growth rings. This yeah. one's been polished, so it's shiny. They're normally not this shiny. Um, this one, I can get it out. This is a small example of a scallop, so you can see it's got kind of the characteristic scalloping, and then it's, again, not very shiny aside from where it's been polished. Beautiful. And this is a mussel shell. This one hasn't been cooked. Most of what we're finding has been cooked, so it's a little bit different of a color, but you can still see that blue and that kind of iridescent yeah, shininess. So cool. All right, and then this one, we haven't found any yet at Hawthorne's, but this is a cockle. It's kind of like a mix between a clam and a scallop, but instead of having the smooth ridges, the ridges have little bumps along them. Excellent, thank you.